Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the shop. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you may notice that something has changed. Um, we actually ended up moving from Connecticut to Florida. And in that move, I, I wasn't able to take a lot of my stuff. Uh, I had to give, up, give away my workbench, uh, a lot of my tables, and some of my larger power tools. Um, and while that kind of sucks, um, it provides me with a unique opportunity to show you how to start a shop from the beginning. Today, we're going to talk about what tools I believe the beginner should look at to get started in woodworking. Now, I've seen a lot of getting started videos out there where woodworkers will tell you that all you need to get started is a plane and a saw. And while that sounds really good, and as an experienced woodworker, we could definitely start with these, there's a couple of problems with that idea. The first one is that good hand tools cost almost as much as power tools. So you're not really saving money there, or you're buying cheap tools that aren't gonna work right. The second problem is that hand tools require a certain level of tuning, experience, skill, and practice. As much as we'd like to think that woodworking is in our DNA, uh, the truth is you're not gonna go out and pick up a handsaw and instantly know how to use it, how to cut straight or plane something flat. It takes practice. So for the beginner, I actually would not recommend hand tools to start off with. You can get frustrated very easily and there is a bit of a learning curve. Also, when people are recommending hand tools, most of them are working on custom-made workbenches, solid work surfaces, bench dogs and jigs that make hand tools phenomenally easier to use. And when you're just starting out, you're not going to have those things. So let's start off with what I think the beginner should have. First, we're going to start off with safety. Ear protection and eye protection. You might as well get started right. Get these first. Next, you're going to need some way of reliably measuring. So a tape measure is important. Now we're going to talk about power tools. So in the beginning, when you're making benches and sawhorses and tables and work surfaces, you're going to be doing a lot of miter cuts with construction lumber. You're going to be breaking down sheets of plywood. So the first thing that I would recommend is getting a miter saw. And you can find these for under $100 all the way up to $600. I recommend getting the best one you can afford, but in all reality, if you're using this to make rough cuts or, you know, simple miter chops, any saw is really going to do. Now this one is a 10 inch sliding miter saw, and while the extra capacity is nice, it's not necessary. So if you just get a chop saw, that will work out just fine. Ideally, you want a 12 inch, uh, but I would not go any lower than a 10 inch saw. And while you could make miter cuts with a circular saw, um, I gotta be honest, in my opinion, circular saws are fairly inaccurate and not very safe. A miter saw is a good investment for any beginning woodworker. Now, we still do need a circular saw. These are great for breaking down sheet goods, and honestly, that's really all I ever use it for, so I wouldn't spend too much on one of these. The only thing I would recommend on both the miter saw and circular saw is replacing the stock blade. These are Freud Diablo blades. They're a good entry level quality blade that will serve you well. Next on my list is a drill, a power drill. I like cordless. Um, 
I don't like to have the cord in my way. And you can find them fairly cheap. Yeah, you could go and get one of those hand drill egg beater things, but you're gonna wear your hands out pretty quick. So a good quality drill is gonna be worth its weight in gold. Also get a screwdriver bit for it, and uh, some countersinks are really nice to have. After that, we get to the measuring and marking stuff. Now this is really important for any woodworker to get quality tools in this area. Um, you need some decent squares. Um, I like having two sizes. This small one actually comes in real handy for a lot of tool setup. Uh, you need a way to find angles. Um, I have this. It works really nice and gives me a bunch of different angles um, based on where you place it. I also have just a standard protractor. And then you just need one of these angle gauges. These are adjustable and hold any angle you set it to so you can mark them out, mark out your miters appropriately. Along with that, you need a couple of writing implements for marking your wood. And then I would get a small selection of clamps. Um, you'll find that in woodworking, you can never have too many, uh, especially these pipe clamps. These pipe clamps are great for holding together uh, glue ups and all kinds of work. These smaller ones are nice for clamping stop blocks or adjustable pieces that you're gonna move around. So I would get a small selection of these. Start your collection now. You're gonna wanna buy as many of these as you can afford. You can start off with a few, but you're gonna wanna buy more as you progress. And that's it. Th those are my picks for the beginning tools that a first time woodworker should look into getting. And we're gonna use these to do our very first project shortly. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you keep up on all the projects that we do. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments for me. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Now you can go start getting your space ready to hack up some wood and I'll see you next time.